fellow Cybertronians, this is a Cybertron Data Network special report. Today we have a new addition to the collection. Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Leader Class Armada Megatron. Let's get this bad boy open, see what we got. For millions of years, Megatron has led fanatical legions of evil Decepticons on their war for conquest. A living weapon with dozens of modifications made in the name of increased power and destructive capability. His only weakness is his single-minded desire for the enslavement of the universe. stiff box that's a good sign less chance of anything being damaged during shipping looks like this is the instruction booklet and there's the figure let's get him out These are definitely not the old school plastic zip ties, they're the cloth type, which makes them really fun to deal with. Got some nice artwork in there. First thing we're going to pull out here in the back, tape down. got a card. but that's a good sign, especially if you had it shipped. That means everything's nice and intact. It looks to be in fairly excellent condition. So, let's get some close-ups and get them transformed. Okay, the first thing we want to do here is take the arm guards and slide them down and around the hands. Then we just repeat the process on the other side. Then we take the feet and rotate them up into the leg. Once again, repeating the process on the other side. Now you'll want to take his head, 
rotate it around 180 degrees, and tilt it back just slightly. Take his cod piece, untab it, and rotate it down towards his legs. Next, you'll want to untab the chest piece and rotate it up towards the head, making sure the double joint is completely extended. This next step is not in the booklet, but all you'll need to do is take the arm cannon and rotate it around 180 degrees. Next, you'll want to take both arms and rotate them in towards the chest. Line up the tabs on the cannon with the slots on the other arm and click into place. Now you'll want to grab a leg, untab it just above the knees, and rotate it out and around towards the body. Line up the tabs from the legs with the slots on the body and secure them into place. Now we repeat the process with the other leg, starting by untabbing above the knee and swinging around towards the body, and then just tab it securely into place. Now take the cod piece and secure it between the tabs on the upper thighs on either side. Next we take the tank treads on the back, swivel them up, untab them, and then rotate them apart. Now choose a side, rotate it up and around, resting it inside the back tank treads. Secure it by tabbing it into what was the chest plate. Now simply just repeat the process on the other side by rotating it up and around and tabbing it securely into place. And we complete his transformation by fully extending his barrel. Now the only thing left to do is to open fire on any friends not paying attention sitting just off camera. Transforming from tank mode into robot starts by collapsing the barrel down in on itself. Take the front tank treads, untab, and rotate down. Now just repeat this process on the opposite side. Continue rotating both sides down around to the back. Line up the tabs and slots and press firmly into place. Now take the cod piece and untab it from the back treads. Untab one of the back tank treads, rotate it down, and snap it into place. Repeat this process on the other side, making sure you hear that snap at the end, signifying that the leg is straight. Now take the turret piece, untab it, and rotate the arms into place. Take the chest piece, rotate down, and tab into place. You will also want to rotate up the cod piece and tab that into place as well. Take the head and rotate around to reveal the menacing face of Megatron. Grab a foot and rotate down into position. Now repeat the process with the other foot. Take an arm plate, swivel it up, and expose one of the hands. And then simply repeat the process with the other arm. 
not shown in the book, you complete his transformation by rotating his cannon around 180 degrees. For the articulation in tank mode there's not much articulation at all we do get a full 360 rotation of the turret and of course you know the missile fires and also the tank treads do work which you can see very clearly on this But that's all we get for any articulation in the tank mode. Alright, in robot mode, you get a complete 360 turn on his head. And then, if you could see underneath there, there's just a little, just a little pin that goes across. So you only get the forward and backwards. Unfortunately, no side tilt. Alright, so with the arms, at the shoulder, we get a full... 360 rotation. Then we got this weird, I don't know, weird shoulder piece that when you angle it out, it kind of looks funny. But you know what? It's a robot. It doesn't have to have perfect human anatomy. Um, the bicep, we get a full 360 turn there. And we also get a 90 degree bend at the elbow. And then with the hand, just a 360 spin, no swivels or angles or anything. Alright, moving down to the legs. It's got a nice ratchet forward and back. Goes back a full 90 degrees. And goes forward about, I don't know, 45. Got a slight rotation at the hip there. The knee uh, goes back a little bit, then this you know the tank tread starts to get in the way. And then we also have a side ratchet that really gives them a wide stance just at one click. And if you try to do one click on one side and half click on the other, it just looks funny. With his feet. We kind of got a little side to side there for uh, posing purposes. And then say you got one leg back, one leg forward. You know, you can angle one of these up a little bit to compensate. But he really doesn't have a lot of posability in the legs. Which is kind of disappointing with the price tag. We also get a really stiff swivel here at the waist. Pretty nice, but like I said, really stiff. That's about what we got for articulation. All right, final thoughts, buy this figure. He makes a great addition to the collection. He's also a great reimagining of the Armada Megatron. Sure, he looks slightly different, but it's a reimagining. I was not a fan of the Armada series, but this 
figure looks awesome in tank mode. This is probably the best Transformers tank we ever got. So I plan on leaving him in this tank mode. Now eventually I would love to get the Silver Megatron, the Silver Combiner Wars Megatron as well, and keep him in robot mode because I love his G1 look. So to have them both in their different modes would just be perfect for the collection. So once again, buy this figure. Once he starts to disappear, his price will skyrocket. All you collectors know how that works, so buy them while you can. Please, do yourself a favor. Till all are one. See you next time, guys.